Hello everyone, this is the Perseus passage. This is in fact the final Perseus passage, passage number 11. Post hike Perseus, after these things, hike there is going to be plural. Remember, it's not this thing, it is these things, it's new to plural. After these things, Perseus returned to the city of Acrisius, cum sua uxore, with his wife. Remember, sua sua sua, meaning his or her own, agreeing with the thing that it describes. Um, so he returned with his wife, to the city of Acrisius. He, however, change of subject, hence the use of the word ille, he, however, this would be the king, uh, when he saw Perseus, ad fectus est, ad fectus, an alternative form of the affectus, a double f, this is ad fectus, he was affected, that's a perfect passive verb, he was affected by great, he was touched by great fear, for he was ad hoc timebat, he was still frightened, for he was still fearing, Suum nepotem, again this possessive pronoun, suum, for he was a, still he was still fearing his grandson, Propter, on account of that oracle. In um, Igitur, rather, Igitur refugit. And so, therefore, refugit, he fled away, he fled back into Thessaly, to the city Larissa immediately. Tamen frustra, however, in vain. Enim neque, for he did not neque vitavit, for he did not avoid suum fatum, for he did not avoid his fate. Post paucos, after a few years, Rex Larissa, here's our subject nominative, the king of Larissa, fecit magnos ludos, put on magnos ludos. Remember the word ludos can mean school, but in this context also the ludi, plural, means the games, the ludi funebres, the funeral games, are of course the gladiatorial games that were originally named funeral games because of the Etruscans that in fact had them as a way of celebrating their dead. In fact, it was actually originally sacrifice. Anyway, I digress. So the king of Larissa put on great games. Nuntios in omnis partis demiserat. Remember my rules, please, ladies and gentlemen. Do not, do not just translate the first word that you see as if it were English. So look at that ending, nuntios. That's not going to be the subject of your sentence. So what do we do? We must find our subject. And we do that by starting off by finding our verb, so we go to demiserat, demiserat et diem edixerat, but it's going to be in this case demiserat, demiserat. He had, so I look for it, I'm sorry, let's go through it bit by bit, demiserat then. Here's my verb, so now I can find my subject. Well, it's third person singular, in this case a pluperfect tense, erat. So if it's third person singular, I need to find a Nominative singular. Well, it's not that. It's not that. I suppose it could theoretically be omnis if that were um, if that were in this case the nominative, but that's unlikely since it's following the in omnis partis. Some might question why it wasn't omnibus alternative form here. I'm imagining so nuntius in omnis um, in omnis partis demiserat. So you find it. You can't find your nominative. That means that it is contained within the verb demiserat. He had sent messengers in omnes. I'm sorry, I now see it's not an alternative form of omnibus. It's in omnis partis. It's omnis as an alternative form of the ES. Into all partis or partes. Into all areas. Into all the lands. He had sent messengers into all the lands. And he edixerat and he had announced the day. So the verb is contained within the subject of these. Sorry, the subject is contained within the verb of these two verbs. Multi. Many, no subject there, so it's contained within the adjective in this case. Multi, many people, con wernerunt, many people gathered from all the cities of Greece ad ludos at the games. Perseus himself, in it, in it, so we look at that, and if I look up in it, I'm not going to necessarily find it. That's because it is a compound verb. We have the in at the beginning, the preposition in, and it from eo, so in it, entered into. So, Perseus himself entered into the contest of the discus amongst others, inter alios, kertamen there, from the word um, struggle or contest, at dum discum conicit. But when he threw his discus, he occidit suum awum, he killed his grandfather, Casu, by accident. Acrisius enim, for Acrisius, forte, by chance, Starbat was standing inter spectatores amongst the spectators of Eos Kertaminis of Eos of that Kertaminis of that contest. Very well done, everyone. There's a little story about fate catching up in a good way for Perseus. 
in a less wonderful way for his poor grandfather. Okay, well done. I'll see you all on Monday.